two weeks ago, I was saying I've had enough of this winter stuff. Well, we're starting April and take a look at it. We still have plenty of winter here, but one of the good things is at the angle of the sun, instead of being further to the south, is inching its way northward, so we get a little more intensity out of the sun these days, which is a good thing in many ways, but in other ways, it begins that cycle of thawing and freezing. And if you've lived in this area long enough, you know what happens. Thawing, freezing, roadways, and we get into that dreaded season of Pretty little potholes all in a row. At least you can avoid them. It sure would be great if all roads were this smooth as you can hear. There's not a lot of bumps, there's no potholes, there's no big problems on this road. And you can see puddles on the side, but that usually means one thing. There's potholes down there. So we continue on, on the bumpy, sometimes almost dangerous roads that are a part of life and existence. But smooth roads do not develop skilled drivers. One of the things that happens with vehicles and potholes is you need places to get them repaired, to get things back in order so that you can once again drive. And part of life in this area, and I think part of life in general, is that there's always some potholes and that as much as we would like to have smooth roads and a smooth life, we don't develop skills unless we have some difficulties. But part of it is, is where do we go for life's difficulties? Who do we share and get support from and maybe get realigned again in the issues of life? Hopefully we have support groups, we have friends, we have family, we have medical professionals, places we can go to get our physical and spiritual and emotional lives back together. Because it's not about smoothness, it's about developing skills, developing some perseverance, some tenacity, and yet keeping an attitude of appreciation and gratitude because we want to move, we want to live, we want to see life. So don't expect life to be smooth. We need some realignment and that's okay because life is indeed worth living. And again, thank you for watching.